You hear a lot about valuation of crypto assets, but what does that mean? And how do you do that? By the end of this section, you'll be able to apply crypto valuation techniques, use metrics to monitor the health of the blockchain ecosystem, and explain crypto asset mining. So let's begin talking about how you value crypto assets. And remember, crypto is an entirely new asset class. So what we're going to try to do is apply some of the same principles from other asset classes to crypto. And the first thing I want to consider is the difference between intrinsic versus extrinsic value. This is something that was proposed in the early 20th century by a famed stock investor named Ben Graham. An intrinsic value means value in and of itself. An extrinsic value is what the market perceives or projects on the asset. So it's important to consider when you think about crypto assets because they some have utility value and some also have speculative value. Utility value is what is the crypto asset used for and what does it pay for, where speculative value is what does the market think it's worth. Now, think about this for a minute. Let's say you have a decentralized file storage system and there's only $10 million worth of decentralized file storage that's being used right now. However, the market might value your crypto asset at 500 million, which is 50 times how much is really used in the world. So in this case, the utility value is only 10 million and the speculative value would be 490 million. And you'll see when we start discussing the other types of crypto assets and their values that many of them have mostly rely on speculative value.